It's blow your mind learning with Lyle Dilly. Today we're going to be creating a basic 3D animation using Motion Tween. Should be a lot of fun. And welcome to another edition of Blow Your Mind Learning with Lyle Dilly. Here we're going to learn some awesome 3D animation skills that you can use in the 2D animator Adobe Animate. Yes, there's some basic animation skills that you can use to your benefit to make life easy and to create awesome effects. Okay? Um, we're also going to be learning uh, a skill where we're going to be talking about uh, putting a symbol inside of a symbol and making sure that that symbol's inside another symbol. I'm going to explain what all that means because we've got a little inception going on, but... Um, once, uh, once you kind of understand how the workflow is going to go, uh, you can, it will really benefit to how complicated um, um, and how well thought out your animations could be. Um, so, with that being said, let's get started. To do the 3D animations, we're actually going to be doing um, a helicopter. We're going to make these top rotators up here um, actually spin around in a circle. Spin, 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 all right? Uh, and make that look pretty realistic. Um, with that being said, uh, uh, this is a pretty easy thing. I went on the internet, uh, just looked up hel helicopter clip art, all right? Uh, found this really cool thing, copied and pasted it right into Flash, like you see, all right? And then uh, with that being said, uh, it's not too hard. If you're doing this clip art, though, um, based on one of the previous things, we're just going to trace this. I'm going to go to Modify. I'm going to go to Bitmap and trace the bitmap. Uh, using the basic 100, 100 pixel thing, I'm basically going to trace the whole thing so that I can cut it apart and use a lot of the different portions to do this animation. Pretty simple skill. I'm going to go ahead and press OK. You know it works because you see all the dots. Dots, 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 dots. With all of those dots, it basically means that it's been traced. It's made into a vector format that we can easily cut out. One of the things that we'll do to cut this out, though, is the lasso, which is this right here. Okay? With this lasso tool, I can go ahead and go all the way around this. I can cut the black part right up here. Very important to cut the black part right up here and go way around it. Let go. And if you notice, now all the dots are just around the propellers. Well, to take this to the next level, pretty easy. I can go ahead and right click it and convert it to a symbol. Okay? So converting it to a symbol, F8 or right click convert to symbol will work. Once I do that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and name these propellers. I'm going to make sure that it's a movie clip. The propeller is supposed to be a movie clip. All right. Once I make that into a movie clip, I press OK. Boom. As you can tell, it is now a propeller. I can now go in here and delete this. No, I don't have to do that. I can now go and select everything now control a select everything and by selecting everything i can now put this new symbol and create a symbol that it's going to house which is going to be the main body symbol for this helicopter so i'm going to go ahead and convert this to another symbol it could be either a graphic or a movie clip i'm going to go ahead and have this as a graphic clip all right once i make this into a um a graphic click uh, symbol. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call this the main helicopter body. And done. Now if you look in the library, you can see now my two symbols are in here. Okay? I have the main helicopter body and the propellers. All in the same one. Alright? Let's go ahead and go into this a little bit deeper. Okay? I'm going to now double click on my main helicopter body symbol. All right, this is the main symbol right now that's on it. You can tell it's main symbol because it's actually highlighted over here in the library. I can double click on it, and now you can see I've got the main body, which is the bitmapped image, and then I have the propeller, the propeller um, symbol that's, that's already inside it. 
I can now take on this and double click inside there and look I now have the propeller symbol but we're going to go and we're I don't want to do it but now we have the symbol we have the main helicopter body symbol then we have the propeller symbol but now I want to animate inside the propeller symbol so now I have to create a third symbol I know I don't want to blow your mind but it is necessary in order to create the 3d animation tool to have a symbol a main symbol that we're going to move around then you have the propeller symbol then you need the animation inside the propeller symbol in order for all these skills to work so it's very important you get that part down so now that I'm inside my second symbol the propeller symbol I am now going to make another symbol I can control a because I'm inside the symbol I'm gonna right click it again and convert the symbol or f8 and then I'm going to make this the the propeller animation so this is an animation symbol this no matter what has to be a movie clip symbol to do the three-dimensional animations it has to be a 3d uh, and the 3d only works in movie clips all right so movie clip very important that we click movie clip all right now that I'm still inside the propeller animations, I can now go ahead and get started on my 3D animation. Uh, I'm going to make this pretty simple. I'm going to do this uh, since it's... Um, I can do more or less, but since this is a 24 frames a second uh, animation, I'm going to go ahead and put this to 24 frames. All right. Uh, once I click on 24 frames, I press F5 and go all the way across. All right. Once I go all the way across, I'm going to now right click here uh, on the actual symbol for the propellers and create a motion tween. I'm now creating a motion tween where I'm animating uh, the instance of prop animation. You see that right there? Prop animation. All right. Now what we're going to do, once I've gotten that down, is I'm going to go ahead and go to 11, about the center, 11 or 12, not too bad, okay? Once I go to 11 and 12, I'm going to go into here, and uh, I've already created the tween. Now I'm going to open up the 3D position in view right here, okay? There's the 3D position in view, and that's going to help me set this up for success. All right? So to begin with, and this is the most important part, to begin with, I'm going to go ahead and click 1 on this camera, which is the perspective angle. The perspective angle will be 1, which means a flat perspective. Secondly, which uh, which is the vanishing point. I want the vanishing point to basically be at the center of this animation. Okay, changing the vanish point, vanishing point will change the overall look. And we want this to be a little bit flat. And this will all make sense in a second. But we're going to go ahead and zero this out. Zero, zero will set the vanishing point to the center, which is what we want, which is the center of the animation that we're working on. Now, once I get to that point, I can now click the 3D rotation tool, which will change a lot of the perspectives of, of this animation itself. So, if I click the X, it will make it look, it will make it so that it goes um, vertically in a three-dimensional manner. Okay? I'm going to undo that. Uh, I can now do uh, Z which will do the uh, make it basically go into a circle or I can do Y Y is going to make sure that it actually does horizontal all right so if I change Y it will actually go in a circle now look what happens when I do this What's it starting to look like? It's starting to look like a helicopter. And that's the kind of look that we're trying to get with this animation. I'm going to go and press undo. And uh, I'm going to do it once. I'm going to go all the way around to the other side once. Now, if you notice that I did that, 
down here it provided a dot that dot basically signifies the animation went all the way around once all right so it signified that that's where it's doing the motion graphics animation if you watch some of my previous videos that's the basics for motion graphics once we did some of that now i'm going to go to the end and go the other way all the way around all right still keeping that gray on the top boom now one two look it's already starting to look like a helicopter going and using that flat perspective of setting this animation to zero is what really got this so that it would work properly so we've got here to here now uh, if you notice i have this animation it's not quite centered i'm going to go ahead and center it by actually dragging it a little bit now i've centered that animation so it'll be a little bit more consistent all right so now i have one two three three 180 once 180 the other way it's basically doing two rotations a second all right which is basically the basic um moments for this kind of animation once i've done this now all right I can go ahead and go back to my scene because we finished with this animation. I can go back to the scene. I can now go into, let's go ahead and go to 120 and five. And if I press control enter and actually make a flash so we can see it, we can see now that it's actually animating it at two rotations a second, all right? Now, some of you guys might want it faster. Some of you guys might want to make it slower and do other animations. But remember, this is just a basic animation class, and it's supposed to get you started on really creating some amazing animations using this basic skill. That being said, you can now take this helicopter, press Q, make it smaller. I can start it off over here in the corner. Start at the first one. Create a motion tween. Right? Go over to the end. Move it down to the center. And make it a ton smaller. And we can now have our helicopter flying off into the sunset. Well, I appreciate you listening to the uh, Blow Your Mind Learning with Lyle Dilly. And hopefully uh, this will inspire you to create uh, wonderful uh, different kinds of three-dimensional experiments. Experiment with the X factor, experiment with the Z, experiment with all sorts of stuff. Um, and really try and push yourself to creating wondrous animations. Um, thanks again for us watching and uh, we'll see you guys next time on Blow Your Mind with Lyle Dilly.